Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everybody. I uh, haven't done any videos in a while, so I thought I'd pick back up. Got a lot of new products out there. Uh, I'm trying to do reviews of everything. Uh, good, bad, ugly. So uh, what we're doing, looking at here today is um, Cisco's new, uh, well, been a while for a while, Carbon Black for Endpoint. Carbon Black, I'm oh, sorry, Carbon Black. Uh, that's my next video, Carbon Black Response. This is Cisco AMP for Endpoints. And... Um, what we're looking at uh, here is the uh, the main dashboard, and uh, I'll just kind of go at a high level, um, roll it out to about 35 uh, test machines, and we'll go through a high level of uh, all the features and functionality and things you can do and things you um, you know may or may not like about it. But uh, thought I'd give you everybody an overview of it. So uh, here's the um, main dashboard which uh, I'll just scroll up and down so you can kind of get a, a look of everything and kind of see where everything is. So you can see, uh, you know, you got the uh, different groups, categorization of uh, compromise, kind of like a heat map um, from Cisco's perspective. And then you can click on one and get a little more detail. You can see here. Uh, hopefully I'm not scrolling around too fast. Just, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, if it's... Uh, blurry or doesn't come out right or something or um, so it just gets blurry uh, sometimes it does uh, just fading in and out so uh, these are the uh, the uh, go through the computers the events and kind of just kind of slowly just peruse through the system just to kind of show everybody uh, like I said just uh, entertain everybody as you can see uh, it, this is a cloud-based portal so all of the agents will um, run on the computers and then they connect up to Cisco's cloud portal which you see the link up there uh, console.amp.cisco.com and it uh, uh, the agents uh, connect out to 443 um, so that's not a problem um, right now I'm still evaluating whether or not uh, how much uh, Sorry, whether or not, uh, or actually, how much data is actually being traversed uh, through the firewalls uh, for the endpoint computers. Uh, I was told it wasn't a lot, but um, you know, it is Cisco, so you know, it uh, they could uh, say it's not a lot, and then all of a sudden it turns into like it's it's a lot, and then it's like, well, you didn't say anything. Well, uh, well, he said, she said, and you know, it's all those, you know, ifs, ands, buts, and coconuts. <laughs> I heard that somewhere. I don't know where I heard it, but uh, that was pretty funny. So uh, as you can see here, I'm going through the computer list, and you can expand the computers and see a little detail on them, and see what exactly uh, you know the, the, the agent version, uh, little details on it. Um, this is a, a uh, an antivirus, uh, anti malware uh, program, so it does uh, what it needs to do. Kind of jump around a little bit. And um, kind of give everybody a little, you know, a little taste of everything. Just uh, going down to the, um, this was uh, the under the management download connector. So you can build different uh, groups, different policies. And then you can download the connector agent um, for that group. Say you want to um, do any exclusions or whitelisting. I uh, don't recommend doing any exclusions because when you exclude, it is not checking that. Um, if, for example, you're having this and uh, say um, uh, Carbon Black Defense, CrowdStrike, Silence, uh, those programs you probably want to exclude because you don't want two programs you know trying to step on each other. So. Uh, but other programs uh, that are running inside the organization, you probably want to whitelist. So at least it knows about it because if you exclude it and it becomes compromised, then uh, you know what's going to happen if that's the source of the compromise. Uh, back over to the dashboard, just kind of perusing around.
you can see there's a uh, right there there's a, um, a down um, quarantine failed so um, right there in the middle of the screen that red line um, that's basically the carbon black response and carbon black is the forensics tool um, basically if uh, you were to be the victim of compromise um, company coming in that you would be using to uh, come and assess the damage and you know um, try and help clean things up they would probably be installing some sort of agent on your computer um, carbon black response is the one of the most popular uh, and very effective forensics tools that's out there it captures a lot uh, you have uh, silence has one um, CrowdStrike uh, I believe has one uh, I don't think Cisco has one um, they're more in the front end antivirus, uh, but uh, a lot of uh, SOC MSSPs out there uh, recommend uh, Carbon Black Response. And uh, when I go through the demo of that one, um, it's a very powerful tool. Uh, you deploy that out there, and uh, as uh, you know, as you know, kind of everybody knows whether you know or you don't know. You know, it's not if you become compromised; it's a matter of when. And if you say you're never going to get compromised. You know, you're, you're living in a dream world and, you know, it, it, it's going to happen. You know, look at Equifax, look at uh, all these companies. They're just leaking data. You know, they're storing their data in AWS and it's just, you know, they just get compromised. So anyway, um, this is a quick overview and let me know your thoughts on this. If it's, uh, you like it, uh, thumbs up, please. Um, thank you.